Hey guys, it's Sarah and me, Hazel, oh, me. and Violet. Hi. And we've got seedlings. And we got Rosie. And if you can't hear it, we've got a chicken in the back. And we are heading up to our farm today to get started on some spring planting. Yay! Yay! Woohoo! All right. Wow. Ew. So these are some of the seeds that we've got to get in the ground. Although some of them, like the sunflower, may not get in the ground today. But so we've got some sunflower, some zinnia, which I do have some seedlings for. Peas were a little late on. Kale, also a little late. And we have bachelor's buttons, broccoli, some more sunflower seeds, spinach, more spinach, red Russian kale, like one. lettuce, butter crunch variety, more peas, <laughs> well, you guys are chamomile, and more peas. So we have got a lot of planting to do today. Look at that grass. So one of our plans is to actually put flooring down, like maybe some bricks or something, but we just, ugh, we run out of time. But you can see our lettuce through the window. It looks pretty good. Lettuce on this side. We got some broccoli. All doing well. Here's my winter um, sown lettuce that we put out. Well, there was still snow on the ground. And look at that. It's doing pretty nicely. This guy must have died because it was on the outside of the box. But it all looks like it needs a little water. But yeah, it looks to be growing and healthy. So, wow. All right. Made Rose a little run of her own in the garden. Because... Yeah, I planted some lettuce last time we were up here and she immediately walked behind me and ripped it out. Of course, I should have known, but. Hi, Rosie. Hi, honey. So I think I'm going to get started planting these seedlings. can't tell I really dislike weeding. I feel like there's little underground monsters with little tentacles that just go everywhere. Um, so I'm going to get started on building some small little beds and then start planting in there. My husband doesn't know that I'm going to quit the weeding though and I'm going to make him do it. We pretty much try to stay no-till. Um, it really eliminates the disruption of the soil and the microbes and all the good things in it. But this year, I don't know, these weeds have taken over early. Either that or we're late to get started. Um, so we're gonna do some more light digging and we never rototill. 
after the first time we rototilled the garden. We've never rototilled again, and we're not planning to. So we have to do all the weeding by hand. I don't know my mushrooms at all. So if you do, maybe you can help me. Is it a morel? Is that what it's called? I'm not sure. quite sure. But there it is. There seems to be one. So we had used some cardboard last year to cover up some weeds to kill them. And this mushroom, I think is actually growing on what's left of the cardboard. So obviously mushrooms like wet wood and rotten things. So maybe that's cardboard is a good environment for them. I don't know. Never can have enough peas. So we do have some growing down here oh, already. And Violet's going to plant a packet on her own. Make sure you're patting them down a little bit, okay? Good job. Somebody accidentally dug my mushroom. It looks like an old man's nose. And Hazel thinks it looks like an old man's nose. But we're not going to eat it because we're not 100% sure what it is. So we'll probably just let it be. Oh my, it's hot in here. We are finishing up for the day. I gotta get this body of mine into gardening shape because I'm tired and this was a hard, hard day. <laughs> so everything in here is been has been watered. Obviously we gotta cut the grass and we'll probably come up on Mother's Day to do that. Um, I hope all you moms out there have an awesome mo Mother's Day and I hope that your gardens are coming along and I would love to connect and see your gardens. So let me know who you are so I can check you out. And uh, yeah, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe. Have an awesome day. Keep growing friends, bye.